In this session, we're going to talk about diabetes and diving. We got a question recently about an individual who said that they have insulin requiring diabetes, an average of seven, and they inject themselves with insulin and they dive with a buddy who's familiar with the condition. And their question is, are they able to continue diving? I like to actually refer to an article in Alert Diver in September 2017 that captured the guidelines for diving with diabetes. And I think you'll find it encouraging. The important thing about diabetes and diving is that it's not only about the blood sugar. Because the concern, of course, is that if the blood sugar drops, then you can lose consciousness. But that's only the one issue with diabetes. People with diabetes can also develop secondary problems. It can affect their eyes, their heart, their kidneys, and other organs. So it's not only about the blood sugar, but that is the big issue when it comes to diving. So here are the following recommendations that Dan and the Undersea and Hyperbaric Medical Society have published about diving with diabetes. Firstly, you should speak to someone who's knowledgeable about diving and diabetes. Diving physician, of course, is a very good idea, but endocrinologists or people who specialize with diabetes or in diabetes care would also be a very important place to go. Secondly, you should always wear a bracelet that actually indicates that you suffer from diabetes so that if you lose consciousness or something happens that people are aware that you have that condition. Thirdly, you should always carry glucose with you and that means even taking it underwater. And there are nowadays sachets and packages and things that you can very, very easily put in your buoyancy compensating device or somewhere else on your body when you go diving. So it's really easy to do nowadays. You should, in countries where this is available, have a glucagon injection available. Now glucagon essentially stimulates the body and specifically the liver to release extra glucose into the body and therefore essentially raises uh, your blood glucose level. So that's an important thing to do and to have if that is possible and available in your country. You should eat a slow release uh, carbohydrate diet and all the sensible uh, indications uh, and uh, advice that is given to people with diabetes. You should measure your blood glucose before you go diving and in fact not only once but at least about an hour before and just before you go diving. Why? Because we want to see that the blood glucose trend is going up, not going down. You don't want to have your blood glucose fall while you're diving. Monitor your glucose immediately after the dive as well and also make sure that your dive in total isn't more than an hour and that includes any stops that you should make on your return to the surface. The reason for that is you should be able to return to the surface essentially at any time when you feel unwell or if you've just had enough for the day. Avoid taking long dives or dives involving a lot of exertion because those may affect your blood glucose in ways that may be unanticipated. Don't dive when it's in cold water or in strong currents or when it requires undue exertion because again it may affect your blood glucose in unanticipated ways. You should make sure, particularly if you have type 1 diabetes, which is the form where you inject insulin, that your blood glucose is at least 8.3 or 150 milligrams per deciliter before you start your dive. The reason for that is that it is high enough that it will actually sustain you during your dive. Consider, if this is possible, to have a continuous glucose monitoring device. These are becoming increasingly affordable 
available and are actually designed that they can withstand the pressures related to diving. Stay hydrated and healthy before you go diving and of course relax and enjoy the experience. So for the person who asked the question about can they continue diving, the answer is a conditional yes. Follow the guidelines related to diving with diabetes, make sure you dive safely and that your body is informed about the condition. And with those recommendations, it should be possible for you to die. Thank you.